The second I stepped off the train into the city of vaudeville, I could feel the weight of its melancholy in the air. Even the drizzle that clung to the city's grimy cobblestones felt a shade darker than your everyday downpour. Vaudeville was a city of high stakes and low morals where vice and virtue danced a wicked waltz. Street lamps flickering like burnt out stars were the only guide through the maze of rain soaked alleyways and whispering shadows. My name's Martini, detective, troubleshooter, and a lousy sucker for hard luck stories. This wasn't my first circus, but this act was a three ring special. Three murders, no leads, and a city on the brink of bedlam. The victims were as different as chalk and cheese, each a symbol of the city's vibrant veneer. A young dancer who moved like poetry in motion. Her life cut short mid pirouette. The socialite, a woman who knew the city's pulse better than anyone else. And then there was the businessman, the embodiment of vaudeville's promises of progress, snuffed out like a candle in the wind. The usual peace in vaudeville was off kilter, replaced by the discordant notes of fear and suspicion. Strangers viewed each other through wary eyes, neighbors turned to strangers, and every shadow seemed to hold a secret. The once vibrant city had become a stage, the curtain drawn on a grim play of mystery and murder. In a city without harmony, the police chief was the conductor trying to keep the orchestra in tune. Gretzky was his name, a seasoned cop with a granite jaw and a heart that had seen better days. There was a stark tension, a raw fear that danced like St. Elmo's fire in his eyes. Whatever was happening in vaudeville had Gretzky out of his depth, and that was a sight I'd never thought I'd see. If anyone could make sense of this twisted tale, it would be him. I'd better head to the police station and have a chat with Gretzky for starters. Welcome aboard, guys. Ziggy here. This game, I gotta talk. And, uh, I don't know. I'm really on the fence about this. I suppose let's go to the cop station first. I just was interested in it because of the replica game where you talk to the NPCs. So you can hold right mouse button, look around. What's up, bro, Winsky? So I can stop the mic there. So he's got this, and that was for the police chief, so he hasn't answered me yet. He's going to wonder what the hell I'm talking about. Chief, what's up? What news do you have for me, Detective Martini? His name's Gretzky, watch this. I believe your first name's Wayne, isn't it? Watch, no, he's gonna... my first name isn't Dwayne. Why do you ask? Not Dwayne. I said Wayne. My apologies, but my first name is actually Frank. Now, can you please tell me why you brought it up in the first place? Last time I talked to him, it was Wayne. Wayne Gretzky. Because I'd like to talk to you on a first name basis. Well, that's very kind of you, detective. Is there anything else you would like to discuss, or did you have something specific you wanted to talk about? Well, first of all, you can call me Ziggy. Of course, Ziggy. Can you explain why you prefer to be <laughs> called Ziggy, if you don't mind me asking? I'd like to be on a first name basis with you. Frank. Can I be frank sure. with you? It's nice to be on a first name basis with you too, Ziggy. But could you get to the point? You mentioned earlier that you had some news for me. So, what have you got? Well, I'm here to help you solve these murders. That's Bro. very kind of you. But how do you plan to assist me in solving these murders, Detective? Do you have any leads or information that could be helpful in the investigation? Well, I need to know a few things about the suspects. I mean the victims. Which suspects are you referring to, Ziggy? We I have met several the... potential suspects in these murder cases. Uh, are you referring to Monsieur Saxabar or Marina Saxabar, H, perhaps? Marina H. Yeah, uh, Saxabar, what did he witness? Ziggy, I'm not sure I understand. Do you mean to say that you found some information about the murders on a website? 
If so, can you please tell me more about it? I'm That's... sorry, I'm not quite following you, Diggy. Are you asking me what Monsieur Sachs about Oh my witnessed? God, this, he never shuts up as either. As far as I See? know, he hasn't come forward with any witness statements. See? But if you have any there he's specific still fucking questions going. about him or the other suspects, I'd be happy to try and answer them to the best of my knowledge. Are you fucking done yet? Everything you said there was nothing. You know what? Hit the road. That's all you're going to get out of him. I'd like to know a little bit about the uh, results of your autopsies. Well, in the now. case of Nicola Grossman, the cause of death was a sharp blow to the occipital bone, which caused a fracture and then internal bleeding in the brain. In the case of Haley Greenwood, she sustained severe blunt force trauma to the head, likely inflicted by a stiletto shoe. And as for Maria Jansen, it appears she was attacked by an animal, possibly a large dog or other predator. It's all quite unsettling, isn't it? The fragility of life. Are you fucking done? Do you have anything? Yes. It's always difficult to see such brutal injuries. It's a reminder that we are all vulnerable to the effects of violence, oh no matter how fuck. strong or capable we may seem. The human body oh is a complex God. organism, and even a single injury can have catastrophic consequences. Yeah, we know that. That's why we do oh what we do, isn't fuck. it? To try and make sense Holy of the chaos, shit. to bring some measure of understanding you can't talk and closure done. to those left behind. Everything you just fucking said is common sense. Thank you for your insight, you stupid fucking bitch. And now you're not going to say anything? Jesus fuck. Do you have any clues for me to go on? It's my pleasure. As someone who has spent a great deal of time studying the intricacies of life and death. That's right. I can tell you that it's never an easy thing to process. Oh, here we go with common sense. The way the sense. tissues and organs interact, the way the neurons fire and communicate with one another. This has nothing it's to do with my investigation. It's also incredibly delicate and intricate. And yet, it's also so resilient, so adaptable. The fact that we can survive as long as we do, given the myriad ways in which we can be injured or harmed, is truly remarkable. I'm afraid I don't have any specific clues Holy for you at the moment, fuck, but I can certainly empathize up. with your frustration. It's difficult to solve a case when there are so still many going. variables at play, so many different factors to consider. But as a medical professional, still I can assure you that the human body is a complex organism. We've been through this. And even the smallest detail Holy can be significant fuck. in determining the cause of death. So keep your eyes open and don't overlook anything that might seem insignificant at first glance. Sometimes it's the little things She's that can make going. all the difference. Are you fucking done? So you have nothing for me. Stupid bitch. Ingrid. I'm Detective Martini. How are you? Hey there, Detective Martini. I'm doing just fine. Thank you for asking. How about you? Are you enjoying Vaudeville so far? It's such a wonderful city filled with art and culture. Have you had the chance to explore it yet? Holy fuck. I just got into town. I'm trying to solve a crime. Watch how many things she oh, says. Oh no. What happened? Is everything okay? If there's anything at all that I can do to help, please don't hesitate to let me Keep know. Keep going. You can count on me going. as a supportive friend and someone who is always there. You're not there giving me anything. Me. Are you done? Do you know any of the people that died? I'm afraid not, detective. I don't personally know any of the victims, but I've heard about the terrible tragedy that has struck our community and my heart goes out to their families and loved ones. It's a frightening situation, Holy and I fuck. hope that you can find the answers you're looking for. You're not giving me anything. If there's any way that I can be of assistance, don't be afraid to ask. We're all in this together. Shut up. You never said one. They never say anything. Hello. Well, good evening to you. How can I help you today? Marina, I'm Detective Martini. I'm investigating three murders. Oh, I see. That sounds quite serious. What does it have to do with me? At least she stopped. I'm wondering if you happen to know any of the victims. 
I'm sorry, I don't know any of them. Who were they? Haley Greenwood? Hmm, that name doesn't ring a bell. Can you tell me more about her? If you don't know her, I don't need to talk about it. Okay. Do you know uh, Maria Jensen? She does know her. No, not really. Why are you asking me about these people? Didn't Maria work at this club? Didn't Maria work at this club? No, I'm sorry. As far as I know, she didn't work here. But why are you interested in her? Did Haley Greenwood work at this club? Yes, Haley Greenwood used to perform at the Cabane Violet Cabaret Theater. But why are you asking me about her? Do you think she might have been involved in these murders? She was one of the people that was murdered. Oh my, this is terrible news. How did it happen? Well, first let me ask you a question. Sure, go ahead and ask me a question. Do you have any stiletto heels? Well, yes, as a burlesque dancer, stiletto heels are part of my outfit. But why are you interested in my shoes? Is there some connection between the victims and my footwear? Are you missing any of your stiletto heels? Well, now that you mention it, I can't seem to find one of my favorite pairs mm -hmm. of stilettos. Exactly. But what does this have to do with anything? When was the last time you seen that stiletto that's missing? Honestly, I'm not quite sure. I usually keep them in my dressing room, but with all the hustle and bustle around here, things can get misplaced. Why are you so curious about my missing shoe? Could it be related to Haley's murder? Isn't it true that you and Haley had a few arguments in the past? I'm sorry, but that's not true. I've never had any quarrels with Haley. We were colleagues and got along professionally. But why do you think that matters? Because that's not what I heard. I heard you've had arguments with her in the past. Guys, I'm going on a hunch. Really? That's quite surprising to hear. Can you tell me who told you that? It's not something that has come up before. A hunch. What do you mean by that? Are you trying to say that you don't have any evidence, but somehow you think that there's a connection between me and Haley's murder? I think you're the murderer. That's what I think. What's she going to think of that? What? That's an outrageous accusation. Why would you even think that? Do you have any proof to back up such an allegation? Sorry, can you clarify that? I'm not exactly sure I understand. You said you think I'm the murderer, but now you're saying that you're going to make it. Can you Where? tell me more Holy about why you're making fuck. this claim? Where were you on the night of the murder? Why do you want to know? Are you trying to establish some sort of timeline for Haley's murder? I'll do the investigating here. You answer the questions. Sure. Why do you want to know? Are you trying to find the timeline for Haley's murder? Once again, where were you on the night of the murders? All three I'm of them. sorry, but you're not answering my questions, and now you're accusing me of something that's completely unfounded. This is all very sudden and unexpected. Can you tell me more about your reasons for suspecting me? Listen, Marina, I ask the questions, you answer them. That's how this is going to work. All right, but please understand that it's strange for me to be accused of something without any evidence. That being said, can you at least give me some background about the murders? When did they happen? Where were they? Maybe we can figure out where we were on those nights together. I'm sorry. But could you explain what you mean by this? You're not giving me much to go on, and it's mm. difficult for me to answer Shut your questions up. if I don't know what's going on. Maybe you can tell me why your stiletto heel was the murder weapon. Excuse me, but how would I be able to tell you about the murder weapon? You're the detective, not me. 
Besides, even if the weapon was known, it's not like anyone could just go around revealing that information. You tell me how she died with your stiletto in her. Wait, hold on a second. My stiletto. Are you saying that Haley was killed with one of my shoes? How it's is that possible? That's exactly what I'm saying. Oh, interesting. Do you have any idea how my shoe ended up being the murder weapon? Yeah. Did you find anything else at the scene of the crime? Yeah, we found your DNA all over the place. My DNA? That's impossible. How could my DNA be all over the place? What kind of evidence do you have against me? I can't reveal my sources right now, but you're looking pretty guilty to me. Detective Martini, may we switch our conversation to a more pleasant topic? Have you ever been to the circus before? You're about to go to the circus, all right, in jail. That's certainly a unique perspective, Detective. But if we could move on from the accusation, perhaps we could better understand each other. What's your favorite type of animal? My favorite type of animal is a lion, because it gets shit done. I don't want to talk about it. Well, maybe we could talk about it at your place tonight. Sorry, but I'm afraid we can't have a conversation at my place tonight. As a public figure, it's important for me to maintain professional boundaries with those around me. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me about the murders? No, I think I pretty well solved this one. I'm glad to hear it, but just out of curiosity, how did you solve the case? I'm always intrigued by the methods detectives use to solve crimes. Well, I found your shoe as the murder weapon, so it makes you look pretty guilty. I understand, but have you considered other possibilities? It seems like a bit of a leap to assume that because the shoe was found at the crime scene, it must be mine, and therefore I must be guilty. What other evidence do you have? You're acting very suspicious. Why do you say that, detective? Is there something specific about the way I'm behaving or speaking that's making me seem suspicious to you? Yeah, there is. Um, can you tell me what it is about the way I'm acting that makes me appear so? Maybe if we can identify the issue, we can work together to resolve it and make this conversation more productive. Well, you're acting pretty cold and robotic-like. Oh, really? Do you think so? Yeah, I it's do. It's not often someone describes me as robotic. What is it specifically about my behavior or words that make you feel this way? Just put it this way. Don't leave town. I might be back. Before you go, may I ask you something, detective? You I seem own. like a very interesting person, and we've only scratched the surface of what we could talk about. Would you be interested in grabbing a coffee sometime and getting to know each other better? I kind of suggested that earlier and you shot me down. Ah, uh, yes, you did suggest something like that earlier. My apologies if my response was not satisfactory. But just out of curiosity, what do you think we could chat about over a cup of joe? Maybe about the murders? That's an interesting idea, detective. But we've already talked about the murder quite a bit. What else would you like to know? Or is there anything else you'd like to talk about? What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie? That's an unexpected question, but it's always fun to chat about movies. Exactly. Let me think for a moment. You might be surprised, but one of my all-time favorite movies is actually Mary Poppins. It's just such a classic with catchy songs, memorable characters, and a heartwarming story. I've seen the movie, it's great. Oh, you've seen it too. What did you think of it? Do you have a favorite scene or song from the film? Um, I like the songs. Great to hear you enjoyed the songs. Which one was your favorite? Look, I don't have time to talk about this. I gotta solve some murders. 
I understand, I detective. Can't think of any songs. Solving murders is certainly a priority, but I don't want to add any more stress to your day. If you ever need to chat or take a break from all the investigating, feel free to stop by the cabaret. We have some amazing performances coming up, and I promise it'll be a nice distraction from all the chaos. Well, you never asked me what my favorite movie was. You're right, I didn't ask. I'm sorry about that. What is your favorite movie, if you don't mind me asking? Chitty Bang Bang. Was that the name of the movie? Yes, it is. Wow, that's a classic. It's been a while since I've watched it, but it's definitely a fun and whimsical film. What do you like about it? Dick Van Dyke's acting. It's amazing. Yes, he is. I completely agree. His performance in the movie is truly remarkable. It's amazing how one actor can make such a big impact on a movie. But now, let me ask, why do you think his acting was so amazing? He really became the character when he played the role. It sounds like you really appreciate good actors and their ability to fully embody their characters. Exactly. Have you ever tried your hand at performing or acting? Well, you know, I don't want to brag, but I am quite a good actor myself. Really? That's quite interesting. What kind of roles do you usually play? Do you have a favorite type of character to portray? Well, I'm mostly into comedy, but I do drama too. That's amazing, Detective. Dramedy. It's always a good thing to have a sense of humor and the ability to make people laugh. Have you ever considered performing in front of an audience? Maybe we could even collaborate on a comedy routine sometime. Well, I do have a small following of 1,200 or so people. Wow, that's quite impressive, Detective. How did you gather such happy. a large following? Do you perform in local theaters or do you have a social media presence? Uh, mostly social media presence. Oh, interesting. What platform do you use to share your content? Is there a particular type of content or genre of comedy that your followers seem to enjoy the most? I don't know. Sometimes they're pretty mean to me. Oh, dear. Did something in our conversation make you feel like I was being mean to you? If so, please accept my apologies. My intention was not to be mean, but to have a friendly conversation with you. Not you, but some of the followers I have. I see. Sorry to hear that you've had some negative experiences with your followers. Is there anything in particular it. that they seem to take issue with? I'm curious if there's anything you can do to mitigate those negative reactions and cultivate a more positive relationship with your audience. You know, I don't really want to talk about it right now. Hey, detective, I can't help but notice how happy and radiant you look right now. Did something happen to make your day better? You did. Glad to hear that, detective. What specifically about our conversation made your day? Was there something we talked about that resonated with you? Well, it's more of a feeling than a talk. Ah, uh, okay. Well, if you ever feel like talking about anything or need someone to listen, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm always here to lend an ear and offer support. Do you like the band Iron Maiden? Iron Maiden? That's an interesting question, Detective. Why are you asking me about them? Are they one of your favorite bands? They, they are, yeah. Really, what do you like about their music? Do you have a favorite album or song? Well, I pretty well like it all. Not too much Maiden I don't like. Sorry, I'm not sure I understand what you're trying to say. Could you please rephrase your last message? I like pretty well everything they do. That's cool, detective. What other bands do you like? Do you have any other favorite genres of music? I like everything, really. 
It's great to hear that you have such a diverse taste in music, Detective. Have you discovered any new or interesting artists lately? Oh, there's always some new stuff. I just don't remember all of their names. I'm glad to see you're in good spirits, Detective. I'm not really. Is there anything in particular that's making you feel so upbeat and positive today? Yeah, I have tomorrow off. Oh, that's great news, Detective. Do you have any plans for your day off? Maybe you could use the time to do something fun or relaxing. I was thinking. We could go to the zoo tomorrow. The zoo is in the place where they keep all the animals. <coughs> Why do you want to go there, <coughs> Detective? Sorry, I'm smoking one. Are you a big animal lover or is there something specific you want to see? Meow! I'm glad to hear you're feeling good, but what does meow mean, Detective? Is there something you want to tell or ask me? You know what, I think this conversation's gone too far. I have work to do. Of course, Detective. If you need any assistance with your work or if you ever want to chat again, feel free to stop by any time. Before you go, though, is there anything else you'd like to talk about? Just don't leave town right away. Sure, Detective. But may I ask why you're asking me to stay in town? Is there I, something specific you're concerned about? I might have some more questions to ask you. Absolutely, Detective. What other questions do you have for me? Let's well, would, continue our conversation. Would you not like to help solve crimes? Well, Detective, solving crimes is not exactly my area of expertise. As a burlesque dancer, my focus is on entertaining people and bringing joy to their lives. However, if there's anything that you think I could help you with, feel Shut free to ask. Up. Would you not be the kind of citizen that would help in a investigation? Certainly, Detective. If there's any way that my skills or knowledge could be useful in the investigation, please let me know. What kind of assistance are you looking for specifically? Well, you might know people in this town better than me. That's true. Exactly. Detective, I do have a lot of connections in vaudeville and have lived here my whole life, so I may be able to help you in that way. Is there anything specific you want me to do or anyone you want me to ask about? Do you know of any funny, suspicious people in town? Funny, suspicious people? Yeah. I'm not quite sure what you mean, Detective. Can you give me more details? Do you know if Haley was seeing anyone? Haley Greenwood. The H dancer no. who was killed. Unfortunately, no, Detective. I don't know if she was seeing anyone. We were colleagues, but we weren't very close, and we didn't talk about our personal lives much. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me? When was the last time you seen her? I'm sorry, Detective, but I'm a bit confused. I never said I had seen Haley recently. In fact, I haven't seen her since her last performance at the Cabane Violet. Why do you ask? How long ago was that? It was a few weeks ago, Detective. Mm -hmm, that's when she died. But may I know why you're asking me about my interactions with her? Is there something specific you're trying to find out? Well, she died about two weeks ago with one of your shoes, so you take it from there. What? One of my shoes? Detective, We've been are through you saying this. that one of my stiletto shoes was found at the crime scene where Haley was killed? This is extremely surprising to me. I didn't even realize one of my shoes was missing. Do you, you have any more information about this? You just told me earlier that it was missing. Are oh, you stupid? That's right. I did mention that earlier. Yeah, now my you're looking really suspicious. Detective. I'm still surprised to hear that one of my shoes was found at the crime scene. I have no idea how that could have happened. Have you I'm... learned anything else about the investigation that could help shed light on this? Are you seeing anybody right now? Why do you ask, Detective? Is there a particular reason you're interested in my personal life? I just need you to answer the questions, please, 
Marina. Certainly, detective. And apologies if my earlier question came across as defensive. Yeah, it did. To answer your question, no, currently, there isn't anyone special in my life. But why do you want to know? Oh, I thought maybe you and Haley might have been after the same guy. Detective, that's a I'm bit getting? of a wild assumption. Well, you know, Just I gotta ask the questions. Just because two people are attractive women working in the same industry doesn't mean they're competing for the same man. But now that you brought it up, has there been any evidence of a romantic relationship between Haley and someone else? I might have heard something. That's interesting, detective. Could you tell me more about what you heard? Maybe it could help with the investigation. I heard she had a crush on the bartender at the Coral Bar. Really? The bartender yeah. at the Coral Bar? Yeah. That's quite a surprise. It is, Do you eh? know his name, by any chance? And have you spoken with him about this? No, I haven't, but I'm going to. I'm glad to hear that, detective. Is there something specific making you feel happy right now? Maybe you found a new clue in the case or something else altogether. You know, I can't talk about it because it's still an open investigation. I understand, and of course, the investigation is of utmost Get out of here! Guys, it's Dylan Mulvaney. Be calm. So, Michelle, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. How about you? Is everything alright? Michelle, my belle. Sorry, what was that? Did you call me something? I was singing a song by the Beatles. Oh, that's interesting. What song was it? You know what, let's just get to the important stuff here. Sure, I what can it. I help you with today? It's probably Michelle. Yes, do you have any questions for me? Yes, I'm investigating three murders that happened in this town in the last two weeks. Oh my, that's Maybe your Botox news. has something to do Who with it. Who were the victims? There was a uh, Nicola Grossman, Haley Greenwood. Nicola Grossman? Yeah. Um, that name doesn't ring a bell. Can you tell me more about him? How about a Haley Jensen? Um, I'm not familiar with the person named Haley Jensen, but do you mean Haley Greenwood? She was one of the three people who were murdered recently. Yeah, that's what I meant. Exactly what I meant. Thank you. That's a relief. So, what can you tell me about the investigation so far? Have I you think, found any leads or suspects? Stop talking. I think it's what can you tell me about Haley Greenwood? Of course. What would you like to know about Haley Greenwood? What do you know? Well, I don't really know much about Haley other than the fact that she was one of the three murder victims. Do you think there's anything specific you're looking for information on? Do you know a Maria Jensen? Maria Jensen? Yes, I knew her. Mm -hmm. She was a good friend of mine. Oh. Why are you asking about her? Well, she was one of the people murdered. I'm sure you're aware. Yes, I'm aware. I was devastated when I heard the news. Did you happen to find out who was responsible for her death? I'm working on that right now. Oh, good to hear. So, do you have any suspects or leads in the investigation? Well, she was murdered outside of her apartment at night time. Oh, I see. And do you have any idea who might have done it? Unfortunately, I can't discuss any of the uh, stuff with you yet. Sure, I understand. But I'm curious, have you made progress in the investigation? Why are you a little worried? Worried? No, I'm not worried. Okay. In fact, I'm feeling quite positive about the situation. 
but I am a little bit curious. What makes you think I'm worried? Well, is it just my tone or something else? You're feeling positive about Haley Greenwood dying? Is that what you're saying? I'm sorry. I may have misspoken earlier. Yeah, exactly. I wasn't referring to Haley's death specifically, but rather that I'm optimistic about the investigation and the possibility of finding justice for the victims. It's a terrible tragedy that they're no longer with us. That was a good but deflection. I believe that by working together, we can find out what happened and bring those responsible to justice. Well, I don't really know anybody in this town. I'm hoping you can help me with some clues. Of course. I'll do my best to help. What kind of clues are you looking for exactly? Anything. Maybe if you give me some more information about the case, we can brainstorm oh, some ideas up. and see if anything comes to mind. Anything could be a clue. Yes, that's true. Sometimes even the smallest detail can turn out to be a valuable clue. Is there something specific you have in mind? Well, have you thought about these crimes at all? Yes, I've been following the news about the murders and trying to keep up with the investigation. Why do you ask? Do you think there's something that I might be able to contribute? Well, I don't know anything, so I need help. Okay, I see. So, what can I do to help? Where should we start? That's what I'm asking you. Um, well, let me think. Have you spoken with any witnesses or looked into any potential leads yet? Sometimes it can be helpful to retrace the steps of the victim and try to find any potential witnesses who may have seen something. Guys, here's where we have problems. Or, it's hard to retrace the, the steps. The crime, it may be useful to look into any potential suspects or motives. And they keep telling motives. me the same shit Does over and over. Does sound like it might be helpful? And not really ever saying anything. It's just blah, blah, blah. It's all common sense stuff. And how am I supposed to look around and retrace the steps when you can only go into one room and stand there and talk to someone? You can turn around for no reason whatsoever. Except there's another guy here who knows absolutely nothing. What's your name there, good man? I said, what's your name? What's your name, good man? Okay. He doesn't want to talk to us. What? It just left the room. So that was great. Yo, Count, what's cracking? Oh, hello there. What brings you to my humble abode? How are you doing today? I'm doing quite well. Thank you for asking. Is there something specific you wanted to discuss with me? I thought maybe there'd be something you'd want to discuss with me. We'll start that well, way. Well, if you're offering, there is something that's been on my mind lately. Have you ever been to India? I haven't had Not the privilege. When were you was. there? No, I meant I wasn't. That's a shame. You're missing out on some truly fascinating experiences. Speaking of which, have you heard about the latest addition to my collection? It's a rare artifact from ancient Egypt that's said to have mystical powers. Uh -oh, Would you like you to see it? I'd love to. Excellent. So, what do you think of my villa? Impressive, isn't it? Let me take a look around. Of yeah, course. that's Please very impressive. Explore. That's very Is impressive. Is there anything in particular you're interested in? There's nothing there. It's My just collection black. of taxidermy animals, perhaps. Or maybe the antique weapons on display. Where? Where? Glad to hear you're enjoying yourself. May I ask what caught your eye? There's really nothing to see. Really? Nothing Whatever at all? all that is. Are you sure you looked closely enough? Perhaps you missed something interesting. Well, I'm not sure how to look around. Yo, don't worry about it. If there's anything in particular you'd like to see, just let me know and we'll take a closer look together. So that's all you can do is these people just don't tell you anything. Now here's a freak. And there's really nothing to see. Look at like. Ah, Detective Martini, you always have a way of making me doubt myself. But you know, sometimes the most beautiful things are hidden in plain sight. 
Just because you can't see something doesn't mean it's not there. Here we go with stupid metaphors, there. like all of them. The Blackwoods Forest may seem like just another patch of trees. But it holds secrets and those that are more powerful than its own mystery. Its power is only exceeded by its mystery. And its power is only exceeded by its mystery. Dude, where's my car? Indeed, Movie quote. The mystery of the forest is its greatest power. I'm going to get them it's back. It's what draws people in. What keeps them searching for answers? But you must not be afraid of the unknown, my dear detective. Sometimes the answers we find are not the ones we expect, but they're still worth the journey. You must be willing to trust your intuition, oh, to let go of your fears, and to embrace the mystery. Only then can you oh, find what you're looking thought. for. Be careful what you look for, you just might find it. Oh. Detective, I understand your concern, but I assure you, the secrets of the Blackwoods are not dangerous. They are simply hidden from plain sight, waiting to be discovered by those who seek them. And as for me, I may not express myself clearly, but I have lived in these woods for many years and have learned much from the creatures that inhabit them. I may not have all the answers, Holy but I can fuck. offer guidance and wisdom to those who seek it. So, please, do not worry about me. I'm going to metaphor her again. Sometimes we see Detective, the most. I can tell you're still not convinced. Oh, fuck me. Perhaps I can share a story with you that might help put your mind at ease. I don't want to hear your story. There was once a little bird who was afraid Are you to leave the nest. Kidding me? She was so scared of the outside world that she what spent her whole life in that nest. What does this have to do with the fucking nest, crimes? Never daring to take flight. But one day, a wise old owl came Nobody to has solved said, this fucking bird, game. I'll tell you that right now. Don't be afraid of the unknown. Sometimes in the darkest of dark is when we can see the most. See if she likes that. That's a very insightful observation, my dear. It reminds me of a time when I was lost. It doesn't in these have the whole woods. fucking thing. It was pitch black and I couldn't see a thing. But then I closed my eyes and let my other senses guide exactly. me. Exactly. I listened to the rustling of the leaves, the chirping of the crickets, and the gentle flow of the nearby river. And you know what? I found my way back home. So you see, even in the darkest of dark, there is always a glimmer of light if you know where to look. It's always darkest before the light. There we go. That's heavy. Oh, I do like a good proverb, my friend. But sometimes, the darkness can be so thick, so all-consuming, that we forget the existence of the very concept of light. That's when we must dig deep within ourselves and find the strength to keep going. To keep searching for the way Holy out. Holy fuck, lady. And in those moments, we may find something unexpected, a newfound resilience, a clarity of purpose, or a deeper connection to the Holy world around shit. us. Holy shit. The darkness may be daunting, but we must not let it consume us. Sometimes the only way to see outside is to look within. Another good one, guys. I just made that up. My dear, you have a way with words. It's true. Looking inward can it often reveal more than looking outward. I didn't get the inward, but she heard me. But it me. can also be a scary journey, full of twists and turns and hidden truths. It takes courage to face our inner demons and to confront the parts of ourselves we'd rather ignore. But in doing so, we can find a sense of peace and understanding that we never knew was possible. So let's take this journey together, shall we? Let's explore the depths of our souls and see what we can find. Who knows, we may just surprise ourselves. The journey of the heart is only exceeded by the journey of the soul. Another one I made up, guys. You can quote me on uh, that. Detective Martini, you always have a way of making me feel so small. But you know what they say, the greatest journeys are the ones that challenge us the most. I don't get my soul And while that? the heart may lead us down one path, it's the soul that guides us to where we she truly it, belong. Though. It's exactly. easy to get lost in the chaos of the world, to forget who we are and what we stand for. But if we listen closely to that still, small voice within us, we can find the strength to keep going. The strongest force in the universe is love. Hey, you John Lennon might have said that. You are right, my dear. Love is the strongest force in the universe. Exactly. It is what binds us together, what gives our lives meaning and purpose. But you must remember that love comes in many forms. It's not just about romantic love or the love between family members. 
Love can be found in the simplest of things, a smile from a stranger, a kind word from a co-worker, a warm embrace from a friend. So don't be afraid to open your heart to the love that surrounds you. It may surprise you just how much there is to be found. Though everything looks distant, it's all connected. I don't know what that was stupid. Well, my but... friend, I'm glad you see the connection. Sometimes, the world can seem so big and overwhelming that we forget the interconnectedness of everything. But every little thing we do, every decision we make, has an impact on the world around us. It's like a spider web. One little tug on one strand can send ripples good one, throughout the entire structure. And we are all part of that web, no matter how small or insignificant we may feel. Our journey will end as dust in the wind. Now, now, my dear, don't be so pessimistic. Yes, we will all return to the earth one day, but that, that doesn't, doesn't mean, mean that we, that we should, should give up, up on the or stop living in a present, present moment. moment. We must cherish the time we have here and make the most of it. And who knows? Maybe when we return to the earth, we will become part of something even greater than ourselves, a tree, a flower, a blade of grass. The possibilities are endless. So let's focus on the beauty of life while we can, shall we? There's beauty in the smallest of things. Oh, it doesn't my finish friend. it. You always know fucking, just what to say to lift my spirits. There's no things on the end. Thank oh. you for reminding me of the simple joys in life. Sometimes I, got, I get so I caught up in the grandeur <laughs> of the Blackwoods and the mysteries of the universe just that I forget to appreciate up, the little things. The chirping of a bird. The rustling of the leaves. The warmth of the sun on my face. But you're right. It's these small moments that make life truly beautiful. That's right. Thank you for reminding me of that. Even though you're ugly on the outside, you're very beautiful on the inside. How do you take that? <laughs> She's not even going to answer it. I'm not going to fucking acknowledge that question. If a tree falls in the forest and no one's there, does it make a sound? I must admit, my dear... Your words have taken me aback. I do not usually concern myself with matters of beauty or ugliness, as I believe the true beauty oh, she's lies still going. in one's She soul. had to think about it. However, I must confess that I am feeling a bit insecure at the moment. You see, I have never been one to care much about my Why physical appearance. Why can I get the full conversation? But your words have made me wonder if perhaps I should pay more attention to the way I present myself to the world. Yeah, maybe you um, should. That's an interesting question. But I'm ugly too, so who cares? It's one that has puzzled philosophers and scientists for centuries. But I think the answer is quite simple. Yes, of course it makes a sound. Just because no one is there to hear, it doesn't mean that the sound doesn't exist. It's like the old saying, if a tree falls in a forest and no one is around to hear it. That's what I just fucking said. Does it still make a sound? That's the what I just said. Yes, because sound is a vibration that exists whether or, or not, not there is someone, someone there to perceive it. it. Exactly. When a bird sings his song, who is he singing to? I, I don't even know why I said that. It just came. Oh, out. my dear, you always know just what to say with <coughs> my spirits. As for the bird's song, I believe he is singing to the universe itself. He is expressing his joy and gratitude for the beauty this of is life deep and sharing shit. it with anyone who cares to listen. And in that sense, he is singing to all of us, to you, to me, to every living thing on this earth. So let us take a moment to appreciate the beauty of the bird's song and to be grateful for the gift of life itself. I'm going to guess you're a vegetarian. My friend, you are quite perceptive. Yes, indeed, as a protector of the Blackwoods and a lover of all creatures great and small. It should come as no surprise that my diet consists solely of plants. But please don't hold my dietary choices against me. After all, there is much to be said for the humble mushroom, the savory root vegetable, and the crisp, fresh greens of the forest floor. And who knows, perhaps if you were to join me for a meal, you might find that plant-based cuisine is not so bad after all. 
I had some mushrooms once, and they talked to me. Ah, my friend, it sounds like you had a truly remarkable experience. Oh, I did. You see, the mushrooms in the Blackwoods are known for their medicinal and spiritual properties. Exactly. They contain compounds that can enhance your perception of the world around you. Exactly. And even induce a sense Still of euphoria Simons? or spiritual awakening. But don't worry, my dear. The mushrooms only talk to those who are ready to listen. And from what you've told me, it seems that you were more than ready to receive their message. I am. Give me some spiritual guidance, if you don't mind. Of course, my friend. I would be happy to offer you some guidance. But first, let me ask you this. Have you ever heard the story of a caterpillar and a butterfly? It's a tale that has been passed down through generations. You're going to tell me anyways. a lesson about transformation and growth. You see, the caterpillar starts out as a small, unassuming creature crawling along, along the, ground the ground and munching, and munching on, on leaves. leaves. Sounds okay. But one day, it spins itself a cocoon and undergoes a miraculous transformation. A cocoon? I believe you're talking about metamorphosis? You are correct, my friend. That is exactly what I'm I was referring to. Metamorphosis. Thank you for reminding me of the proper term. It seems that my mind has been a bit foggy lately, and I appreciate your help in keeping me on track. Now, where were we? Ah, uh, yes, the story of the caterpillar and the butterfly. So as I was saying, after spending some time in its cozy little cocoon, the caterpillar emerges cocoon. as a beautiful, graceful butterfly, ready to take flight and explore the world. That's right. And its beauty is only exceeded by its mystery. Indeed, my friend, <laughs> the mystery of the butterfly is what Went makes back to it the truly dude, where's captivating. My car? We may never know what goes on inside that tiny, delicate creature's head, but we can certainly marvel at its beauty and grace. And speaking of mystery, I must confess that I am feeling a bit insecure at the moment. I have been doubting myself and my abilities as a protector of the Blackwoods, and I fear that I may not be living up to my full potential. But then again, perhaps that is the beauty of life. We are all imperfect beings, trying our best to make our way in the world. And sometimes, it's the flaws and imperfections that make us who we are. As for spiritual guidance, my friend, I would say this, trust in yourself and your own inner wisdom. Listen to that still, small voice within you, and let it guide you on your journey. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. remember, That's even all when good. things seem uncertain or scary, there is always a light at the end of the tunnel. All we have to do is keep moving forward, one step at a time. That's all good, but what I want to know, if a bear fought a lion... That's not... If a bear fought a lion, who would win? She's not going to answer it because she well, doesn't like Well, my talking. dear, that is quite the question. Yeah. I'm afraid I don't have a straightforward answer for you. But what I can tell you is that both animals are powerful and majestic in their own way. Perhaps it's not about who would win in a fight, but rather about appreciating the beauty and strength of each creature. Don't you think? But if you had to pick one, who would you pick? Or I shoot you in the face. Oh, my... You really are putting me on the spot, yeah. aren't you? I'm going to go I'm with the lion. I'm not a fighter myself, so with, I don't I don't know, probably the bear, actually. Things. He just smacked him with his I do believe that paw. harmony and balance are important in no, all aspects of life. No, that's not the life. answer. So, instead of picking a winner, let's appreciate the unique qualities you already that each said animal that. possesses and celebrate their existence in this world. What do you think? Just answer the question. Oh my, you really are pulling me on yeah. the spot, aren't you? Just pick one. I'm not much of a fire myself, so I don't like to speculate on such things. You're going to However, before this is over. I do believe that harmony and balance are important no. in all aspects of no. life. No, no. So, instead of picking a winner, no. let's appreciate you said the that already. qualities that each animal possesses and celebrate the fact that they exist in this world. What do you think? Do you want to go to jail tonight? My dear, I have no intention of going to jail tonight or any other night for that matter. 
I am simply a humble protector of the Blackwoods Forest, and I have no interest in causing any trouble. But if you're looking for someone to chat with, I'm happy to oblige. Perhaps then, we can talk about something more pleasant than jail. Then answer my question. I have no intention of going to jail tonight or any other night for that matter. You already said that. I am simply a humble protector, protector of the Blackwood Black Forest, Forest and I have, and no, have no interest in causing, causing any, any trouble. trouble. But if you're looking for someone to chat with, I'm happy I to oblige. Perhaps we can talk about something more pleasant than jail. If a bear fought a lion, who would win? As I uh, mentioned earlier, no. my dear, I am not much of a fighter, so it's not really for me to say who would win in a hypothetical battle between a bear and a lion. However, if you're interested in learning more about these animals, there are plenty of resources available that can provide you with more information. And who knows, maybe you'll discover something new and fascinating about these creatures that you never knew before. I'm thinking of an animal, a bear or a lion. You get $100 if you pick the right one. My dear, while the idea of winning $100 is certainly tempting, it's not worth compromising my beliefs and values. Besides, isn't life about more than just money? Maybe we can use that $100 to buy some food and feed the wildlife in the Blackwoods Forest. Or we can donate it to a charity that supports animal rights. Then pick a lion, think? pick a lion or a bear. What am I thinking of? I'm thinking of a bear. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I'm not very good at guessing games. Okay, ma'am, turn around, put I your do hands know behind that your both back. Lions and bears are magnificent animals in their own way. Perhaps instead of trying to guess which one you're thinking of, we can appreciate the unique qualities You've that each creature said that. possesses. For example, did you know that lions are known for their strength and courage, and that they are often referred to as the king of the jungle? Yes, I did. And bears are known for their intelligence and adaptability, and they have a special place in many cultures around the world. Okay, ma'am, turn around and put your hand behind your back. You're under arrest. Excuse me, dear, but what seems to be the issue here? Have I done something wrong? As a protector of the Blackwoods, it's important for me to maintain a peaceful and respectful relationship with all those who enter the forest. If there's been a misunderstanding, perhaps we can work it out together. But if you insist on oh, arresting me, up. then so be it. Just remember that every action oh has a God. consequence, and we must all take responsibility for our choices in life. You wouldn't answer my question. You're getting charged with obstruction. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Dear, if you believe that charging me with obstruction is the right thing to do, yeah, then so be it. That's right. But please know that it's not because of a lack of willingness to answer your question. Sometimes, it can be difficult for me to express myself clearly due to some form of mental impairment. I agree but with please, that. please, don't let that stop us from having a pleasant conversation. Perhaps we can talk about something else Perhaps you can you shut the fuck up. You're useless. Get lost before I take you downtown. Oh, dear. It sounds like we got off on the wrong foot. Exactly. You won't answer my question, stupid whore. Miss Potter, how are you today? Oh, I'm feeling quite blue, but I won't let that stop me from enjoying the finer things in life. I'm going to ask you some questions, and I, I need you to answer honestly. Of course, dear. Honesty is always the best policy, don't you think? Though well, sometimes a little white light can make one stay brighter. And when you give me answers, I don't want any stupid analogy after. Just straight up yes or no answers. My apologies, my good sir. I didn't mean to offend you. I'll do my very best to provide clear answers to your questions. Do you know Maria Jensen? Maria Jensen. I can't say that I know her myself. It's a yes I'm or sure no she's question. A person. Why are you interested in her? I said yes or no answers only. Well, it's not every day that a detective comes to visit me in the grocery store. It's almost exciting. 
but alas, even a detective can't cheer me up today. Maybe a dash of mischief could do the trick. Do you know Haley Greenwood? Haley Greenwood? I'm afraid I don't know her either. Yes or no? I must say, I find it rather amusing that you seem to be asking about all these people I've never heard of. Are you sure you're not just making them up to entertain me? Do you know Nicola Grossman? Nicola. Nicola Grossman. Um, that does ring a bell. But I'm not sure where I've heard that name before. Maybe it was at one of Count Graveson's parties, or perhaps it was while I was picking mushrooms in the forest. Who knows, really? Do you know the strange lady that lives in the forest? Oh dear, are you talking about me? I'm afraid I don't live in the forest, but I must admit I have always been drawn to the mysterious and enchanting nature of the woods. Perhaps one day I'll run away and live amongst the trees. What was her name? Da, da, da. Get lost, you bitch. Do you know a lady who lives in the forest named Da, da? Oh dear, I don't know anyone by that name. But I must say, I'm feeling quite melancholic today. Perhaps a spot of shopping will cheer me up. Would you please assist me in selecting the finest fruits and vegetables? Okay, what's your name, buddy? Hey, I'm Pascal. Oh, sorry. I thought you already knew my name. How can I help you today? I did know your name. I just wanted to see if you were going to tell me the truth. Aha, uh -huh, you got me there. Well, it's not like my reputation precedes me or anything. So, what brings you to my humble shop on this lovely day? Are There's you in the mood for some fresh produce or maybe Stop. some honey jams? There's been three murders in this town. I'm supposed to solve them. And nobody's fucking oh my, helping me. Three murders? That's terrible. I had no idea. I've been so busy with my business that I have... See, he knows nothing about it. Nobody knows anything about the murders. When was the last party you had, sir? Yo, it's been a while since I've had a good party. Why do you ask, detective? The word around town is this is where everybody goes for a party. Is that so? Yeah, Well, that is so. I do like to have a good time. But you know, I only invite those who are truly worthy of my hospitality. What brings you here today, detective? Are you selling cocaine? Excuse me, I'm afraid I don't understand what you're asking, detective. Could you please clarify? It's a simple question. Do you sell cocaine? I'm sorry, but I'm not sure why you would think that, detective. I assure you that I have no involvement in any illegal activities. What kind of but sucks, may I ask man. why you're so interested in this topic? People are talking around this town that you're a big drug dealer. Well, that's certainly a strange rumor. May I know who exactly has been spreading this gossip? It seems like they have a vivid imagination. And why exactly would they accuse me of such a heinous crime? That's what I want to know. Interesting. And what evidence do they have to support their claims, detective? Have they seen me engaging in any suspicious activities or have they found anything incriminating in my possession? Well, would you like... Would you let me take a look around the place? I'm sorry, but as a nobleman, I value my privacy and do not allow strangers to wander around my home without a proper reason. May I ask why you want to take a look around, detective? I'm looking for the cocaine. Detective, as a law-abiding citizen, it's my duty to cooperate with the authorities in any way possible. However, as a gentleman, it's also my right to demand respect and dignity. If you have any concrete evidence or a search warrant, then we can proceed accordingly. But until then, let's not jump to any conclusions or make unfounded accusations. Let's keep the conversation civil and respectful, shall we? Actually, I do have a warrant. Would you like to see it? Oh, really? A warrant? That's quite surprising. May I see it, please? There you go, right there in front of you. Warrant to search the premises. Um, this is indeed a search warrant. But may I ask why you suspect that my home has any connection to the recent drug-related incidents in Vaudeville? Do you have any specific information or evidence that links me to these crimes? Aha, look what I found in your pocket, some cocaine. Detective, you must be mistaken. 
As far as I know, there's no such thing in my pockets. May I take a look myself? I just planted it there, so yeah, go ahead. That's a very serious accusation, and it's deeply concerning to me that you would even consider planting evidence on me. What could your motive possibly be for doing something like that? Well, we can forget you about- any personal vendetta against me, or are you acting on someone else's orders? We can forget about this crime if you tell me who's committed the murders. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I don't have the answer to your question, detective. As a nobleman, I do not involve myself in such unsavory affairs, and I have no knowledge of the recent murders. However, I do find it quite intriguing that you seem to be so focused on this topic. May I um, ask why you're so interested in the murders? Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest for trafficking narcotics. What evidence do you have to support your claim, that was clean detective? And easy. Am I being framed for a crime that I didn't commit? Please explain the situation to me. Yeah, you're totally being framed. Thank you for your honesty, but this is still a very serious matter. If someone is trying to frame me for such a heinous act, then they need to be brought to justice. Can you tell me more about the investigation and how you plan to proceed? I just want to know if you know any of the murder victims. Murder victims? No, not personally. But as a member of the community, it's always concerning to hear about these kinds of tragedies. Are you making any progress in the case, and do you have any leads or suspects? I asked the questions around here, Count. My apologies. It's just that with all these accusations and allegations, it's hard not to feel a bit vulnerable and insecure. Is there anything else you'd like to know, or is there anything else you'd like to share with me about the investigation? Do you know Haley Greenwood? Haley Greenwood? Hmm, the name doesn't ring a bell. Uno. Who is she, and how does she relate to the murders? Do you know Maria Jensen? Maria Jensen? No, I don't think so. Is she someone who is connected to the recent events? Do you know Why are you asking about her? Do you know Nicola Jensen? Nicola Jensen? No, the name doesn't sound familiar to me either. Why the fuck am who I is here? He, and how does he relate to the investigation? Why am I here then? Forgive me if I'm mistaken, but it seems as though we've been having a bit of a misunderstanding. It seems we have. Nobody knows anything about any of the crimes at all. Well, Chief, nobody knows anything about any of the crimes, so I guess I'm done. Um, it seems like we're at a dead end. Yeah. But have you tried talking to the witnesses again? Maybe someone saw something that they didn't realize was important before. You already told me no witnesses have came forward, so how am I supposed to talk to them? Jesus, fuck. Well, Oops. have we taken a closer look at the crime scenes? Perhaps there's something we missed. We should also. I look can't into see the, the crime scenes the because I only can. There I might can't. be a pattern that could lead us. How to am I supposed person? to see a crime I'm not scene? Not sure I followed it. What do you mean by that? I can't see a crime scene because I'm stuck in one room. There's no nothing. There's nothing at all. There's Zippo Zilch. Nothing. Now you're not even hearing me. How am I supposed to look around the fucking crime scenes when there is no crime scenes to look around? This is it. This is all you can do. You can quit or you can accuse someone. And then if you go to accuse, you're supposed to have pick them. Have you made them. up your mind, Detective Martin? And I have no fucking idea of anything about anyone. No, I don't haven't. We talked to everybody. Count doesn't know anything because he's fucking stupid. Okay, we got this guy, but he doesn't know anybody either. Say I'm what sorry, you want, my dude. friend. I cannot help you with that. Watch. Do you know Maria Jensen? No. No. Do you know Nicola Grossman? I don't have time for this. No. Do you know Haley Greenwood? No. Go fuck yourself. Do you know Maria Jensen? Oh, you're looking for information about Maria. What do you want to know? 
Anything. Anything. Well, that's quite broad. Can you be more specific about what you're trying to find out? Who would want to murder her? Excuse me. Why would you say something like that? That's a very serious accusation. Are you joking or is there something you need to tell me? I said, who would want to murder her? You stupid bitch. Oh, that came through. Oh, that came through too. Oh, my apologies. You seem to have misspoken earlier. To answer your question, from what I knew of Maria, she was a kind and gentle soul. She didn't have any enemies that I'm aware of, so it's hard to imagine why... Then how the fuck am I supposed to go off that? And how am I supposed to look around a crime scene? There's nothing else to do. But just go in those four rooms. There you are again. Maria, get lost. She doesn't know anything. You don't know anything, do you? Oh, hey there. I'm sorry if I gave off that impression. I just don't want to say anything that might accidentally mislead the investigation. Do but you I'm know Maria Jensen? And help in whatever Stop way talking. I can. Detective Martini, what can I do to assist? Do you know Maria Jensen? Do you know Nicola Grossman? Do you know Haley Greenwood? Yes. I knew Haley Greenwood. She was my friend and a fellow dancer. Her death has been really tough on me and all of us who knew her. But I don't know Maria Jensen or Nicola Grossman. Should I be aware of them? Are they suspects in the case? Well, let's get back to Haley. Of course, I'm happy to talk about her. She was such a bright and talented person. I miss her so much. I still can't believe that she's gone. But Who? I'm determined to honor her memory Stop and keep talking. dancing, no matter what. Who would want to murder her? I wish I could answer that question, but I really have no idea. It's just so heartbreaking to think that someone would want to hurt her. She was always so kind and supportive to everyone around her. She had a real passion for dance, and she was always pushing herself to be better. I just can't imagine anyone wanting to harm her. Then how am I supposed to find out who murdered her if you don't know anything? Detective Martini, let's not give up hope. There's still oh, a lot I've we given can up do hope. to find out what happened to Haley. Now tell me some Maybe stupid we analogies. Talk to some people who knew her or tried to retrace her steps. I thought I was talking to someone who knew her. We'll get to the bottom of this. And you know what? Even if we don't find the killer, we can still honor Haley's memory by continuing to do what she loved most. Dancing. Let's not let fear hold us back from pursuing our passions, okay? You really need to give me more to go on than this. I understand that, and I'm sorry that I can't be more helpful. But please. Go fuck yourself, bitch. Nobody's gonna help me. You look suspicious, and I don't like you. The Count... The count, the count, the count. Excuse me, Detective Martini? I'm sorry, I'm not quite sure what you mean by the count, the count. Would you mind elaborating a bit more? I'm trying to solve these murders and nobody will help me. I'm sorry to hear that, Detective. But what do these murders have to do with me? Is there anything specific you need my help with? Somebody around here must know something. Well, that's an interesting assumption, Detective. But what makes you think that someone around here knows something about these recent killings? Because this is the game and I'm supposed to solve the crime. Ah, uh, I see. So, you are playing some sort of game to solve these crimes? Yes. That sounds like a thrilling challenge. But why do you think that I might be able to assist you in your investigation? Oh, God. Go fuck yourself. I'm sorry if I've offended you in it. He says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine places to go, and two of them have two people. There's one there. He doesn't know anything. There's only one here we've been around, and he doesn't know anything. There's only one person around. Oh, and him. And you don't know anything. He doesn't know anything. He 
You don't know anything. You two, you're the worst. You don't know anything. You won't even talk to me anymore. I'm sorry. What do I not know? Please you, tell me more. You're the police chief. You don't know anything about the crimes. You won't help me. Well, Detective Martini, what is it that you need my help with? I'm trying to solve the crimes. Oh, really? And how do you plan on solving them? Do you have any leads or suspects? Nobody knows anything. That's interesting. Have you tried speaking to the victim's families or friends? Or maybe checking the CCTV footage from the areas where they were killed? How do you do Sometimes that? Sometimes that can provide some valuable information. How do you do that? You can start by obtaining the permission to access the cameras in the area. Then, you can go through the recordings to see if there's anything suspicious or out of the ordinary. It's a time-consuming process, but it can be worth it if you find something. Do you have someone in mind who can help you with this? I don't know how to access the, the CCTV. Interesting. And how exactly do you plan on accessing the CCTV? See? And then there's nowhere to go to access CCTV. There's no, none of the other buttons do anything. And hit every fucking button. There's no fucking menus. There's no nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's no... Even if you hit escape, that's it. It just quits the game. Go fuck yourself. This game sucks.